Video ads are one of the best ways to grow your online business, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, or somewhere else. But the trouble a lot of people have is they don't know how to create video ads that convert, whether that's the script, the video itself, a whole bunch of things. And one of the best things you can do is to get inspired by video ads that have proven to do well in your niche. But how do you do that? Well, you wanna build out a swipe file, but that's easier said than done when it comes to videos, because often we'll watch a video ad, we'll like it, and then we can't find it again. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can download any Facebook video ad. I'm then gonna show you how you can use tools and softwares that are either free or super, super cheap to take somebody else's successful video ad and remake it into a video ad for you that is going to do really, really well. It's super simple when you know how, and I'm gonna show you in this video. But before we get into that, if you want to build your online business and you get tired and sick of all the hype and BS online, then you're in the right place. I upload one, two, sometimes three videos every single week. So go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is come to the Facebook ad library which is completely free and anybody can access it. Now, the Facebook ad library is a collection of advertisements that are currently running across Facebook and all of Facebook's apps and services such as Instagram. So I'm going to show you how you can use this to find ads for this purpose. So first of all, where it says here, search ads, I've got Japan selected because I'm in Japan. You probably have the country that you're based in. So we'll just click on this and I'm just going to search for all. Now, of course, if you want to search for a specific country, you can, but this just makes life easier. And then add category from this drop down, we're going to choose all ads. Now, in here, you've got two options. You can search by keyword, so you might put something such as weight loss or dog training, or you can type in the advertiser's name, which is going to be the name of a Facebook page that is actually advertising on Facebook or Instagram, etc. Now, of course, if you don't know a particular page, then it's much better just to stick with keywords. So I'm just going to put in here dog training and hit enter and we'll see what it brings up. Now, again, it really does depend on the keyword as to the kind of stuff that is brought up. So we can see here we've got ads in different languages. Some ads are not videos. So we're gonna to need to click on these filters. And first of all, the language. So this is fairly self-explanatory. So from the language dropdown, wait for it to load up, we're gonna to wanna to choose English. And then while that's loading up, I don't know why that's taking a long time, we're gonna come down here and we're going to click on videos because we want videos. And there we've got the languages. So we're gonna come and choose English. Just click outside of this. So now we want to apply these two filters. So that's gonna get rid of any ads that are not in English and that are not video. So we're gonna get a smaller number of advertisements. And as we come down here, we can see we've got these different video ads here. And what you wanna do is you wanna locate an ad. You can go through and you can watch all these videos, but you want to find a video that you want to delve a little bit deeper in. Potentially a video that has somebody speaking because we're going to need to extract the script of this video. If it's a video that just has music or it's just got you know images that go back and forth, it's not really gonna be useful for this. So I'm gonna pause this video and just go through and play some. And then when I found one that I think is suitable, we'll um, get cracking. So hold on two seconds. Okay, so I've decided to go with this one. A lot of these ads were just music and you know, fun, cute, you know, things of dogs. But this one actually had a man speaking. So we're gonna go with this one and we are going to come up here to where it says see ad details and we're gonna click on this and we get a little bit of information about this. Now this is the important thing. What we need to do here is we need to right click and we need to click on inspect and that is going to get some kind of code or information that might be at the bottom or it might be along the right side. It depends on your browser and how you've got things set up and it doesn't really matter. From here you want to find network and click on this once and then you want to hover over where the video is somewhere up here and just press play. And then you can see here we've got media. Now, when we've got media here, this comes down here, which is actually the video. So we are gonna right click on this, right click, and um, basically open it in a new tab. And you can see it downloads here. So when th now that's downloaded, I'm actually going to um, close this off. So let me just do that one second. 
Okay, so I've closed it off. I've come back to the Facebook Ads Library. And you can see down here, that was the file that we had downloaded. So I'm just going to drag this off screen onto my computer. And let me just right click on this and click Get Info. And then I'll kind of bring this across over here. So what you can see here, this is not an MP4 file. It's been downloaded as a, as a text edit file. So right now, it's not a video that we can actually watch. But how do we switch this to a video? Well, it's very simple. Where it says Name and Extension, just come right to the end, and you'll see an N. Click just next to the N, then type .mp4. Hit Enter. Then click on Add. And now it's a video. Bingo. So now we've got a video that we can actually play. And if I um, open this up here, let me just open up the video. We'll open up the QuickTime player. This is the actual video that we have downloaded. I'll make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. Bring it across. Let's press play. Hey guys, Michael J. Sword. So now we have the video. We've got the video, we've taken it from the Facebook ad library, we've done a little bit of magic, and we've got a video on our computer. The next step is we need to extract the script from this video. So I'm gonna pause the video once more and show you how you can do that for a very, very tiny cost. Okay, so we're gonna be using this service, which is called rev.com. So you go to rev.com, you create an account, and this is a service which will help us extract the script, but we want to make a specific kind of order with rev.com. So once you've logged in, you want to click on place new order and you want to choose automated transcription, not transcription. I mean, both will work, but automated transcription is much quicker and it is much, much cheaper and it does the job in this case. So let's click on automated transcription. From here, we have two choices. We can choose a video that has a public web address, such as a YouTube video, but the video that we've just you know created or we've just kind of taken is actually on our computer so I'm going to drag this in here and drop it and that video is going to load up and then it's going to give us an estimated delivery time and an estimated cost now I'm guessing that delivery time is going to be five or ten minutes and it's going to cost us probably a dollar maybe less again we're just waiting for this to load up but this is incredibly cheap if you chose the transcription method a real human would do it and it would take a bit longer and it would cost a bit more so let's see it's calculated the length it's going to cost us 50 cents okay so it's not going to cost us much money and it's going to be done within five minutes now if you wanted a human to do it you've got to pay a little bit more from here you would just check out i'm not going to check out just now but you would check out and you would pay via credit card or via paypal and then you can either come back to rev.com or they will send you an email notification when it's ready in five or ten minutes and you will have a script and the script you can't use it as is because of course the script is somebody else's script but you can take that script and we can remove parts of it that wouldn't make sense to us and then we can rewrite it so I'm going to show you how to do that using AI in just a second Okay, so I said I'd show you how to do that. So I've gone and chosen a different one that I've already actually ordered. So I've got this one, how to eat carbs and stay in ketosis. Once you've got an order, you can click on these little um, dots. You can download it here. So you click on download. And I would always remove the speaker names and timestamps and then hit download. And it will download as a Word file. So if I open up here, this is the actual example here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can see it. Now, because it's done by a computer, they sometimes make spelling mistakes. So we're going to do that. And I'll probably get rid of that bit there. And I'll get rid of that bit at the end. And what you want to do is you want to read through this once and just make sure that A, you know, it makes sense and that you've removed any reference to a specific brand or company because obviously that wouldn't be relevant to you. And then we're going to have to get this rewritten. So I'm going to take this script and then I'm going to come to a service which is called Quillbot. Now, Quillbot you can actually use for free. And they have a paid version as well, which is $15 per month. Now, while I have the paid version, the free version is more than enough. What Quillbot does is it rewrites things. And you can only use fluency if you've got the free version. If you've got the paid version, you can use all of these things. And I like to use creative sometimes. But let's stick with fluency. And let's just bring this down a little bit here. What I'll do is I'll paste that uh, ketosis transcript that was created by Rev.com. And I'm going to hit paraphrase. And basically, it's going to rewrite this in you know five seconds. You can see how quickly it rewrites. And this is perfect for all different kinds of uses, but it's great here. So now what I can do is I can copy this, and then I can re 
put it on a Word doc. I can go through it. I can make sure that again that it you know it all makes sense. Maybe I want to change a word here or there. And now I have a brand new script that I can use for a Facebook video ad to, for example, to promote an affiliate offer in the ketogenic diet niche. Now I've still got to create my video. So if I wanted to create a video with this script, but I didn't want to appear on camera, I don't want to hire an actor or an actress or any of that, what can I do? Well, you can use one of many tools, but I like to use a software called wave.video. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my wave.video account. I think this is the best option out there. Other people will recommend uh, in video or other stuff. And from here, you'd hit create video and you'd click on text to video. You'd plunk your um, copied transcript in here. And to make it better, I'd maybe make spaces between each sentence. Let's just go ahead and do that. You don't have to do this, but it just makes life a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, of course, if you've got a longer script, that's just going to take a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to just do it a little bit like that. Give me two seconds as I go through the video, uh, go through the script. Okay. So again, and of course, you can make amendments to this as you go. I want to use free stock assets. I don't need to have paid assets. And then I'm going to hit next. And we've got to choose a format and style. Now, if our video is going to be for YouTube, we want a horizontal video. If it's going to be for, for example, a YouTube short, we want to choose a vertical video. If it's going to be for Facebook, where this video was originally taken from, we want a square template. And I'm just going to choose this one. This is the one that I like. It doesn't really matter. So we'll click on this and we'll hit create video. From here, we've got to wait for the Wave editor to set this stuff up. It can take a couple of minutes. It depends on the length of your script and a whole bunch of other things and the speed of your connection. But what's going to happen is Wave is going to load that template up and it's going to have our script in there. And then it's just our job to change any background images or videos maybe alter what the text looks like on screen. And then we're going to go ahead and create our video. And once we've got our video created, we can then download the video to our computer, we can upload it to our healthy living or our ketogenic diet, whatever it is, Facebook fan page, we could use it as an ad, you can see it's getting ready to go here. Now, whereas I don't want to go too hardcore in how to use wave.video because I've got videos on YouTube that talk all about how to use wave.video, I'll give you a few little tips in here. So if you don't like the audio, so this is a background audio, it's just music, you can click on the audio file and you can delete it and it's gone. So we've got rid of the audio. I personally don't like to have these little transitions between my videos. So I click on the transition, click on none, then apply to the whole video. So they've gone. With regards the text, there's obviously too much text on this screen. I'll show you what to do in a second, but we'll click on the text. Personally, I like to choose this font, quite a well-known font then click outside. I personally like size 120. Uh, that didn't change, did it? So 100, maybe that's because there's too much text on this to make it 120. So okay, well, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, I like to have it centered. I don't like any text effect because I think it takes away from the messaging. So we'll have no effect. And I like to have not a rounded box, but I like to have a classic box. There we go. Click outside. And then we'll apply that to the whole video. So that is on every single video now. We've got centered, no effect, classic box. Um, personally, black is fine. Now, as you can see, there's too much text on this. So first of all, I'm just going to bring this across a little bit. So it kind of, and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. Now, there's way too much text on this because you can't see anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get, copy this, copy it, and then delete it. So now it comes down to the bottom. So that's a little bit better. Personally, I think three lines is max. Then what I'll do is I'll drag that across here. So now this piece of text only appears until this kind of for the first two and a bit seconds. Then I'll click here where it says plus text, add text. Then I'll kind of delete all of this. Let me just delete all of this. And then I'll paste the bit that I copied and I'll kind of do the same thing. So I want to find another natural break. So I'm maybe this part here, copy, delete, add text, then we'll click on that, we'll get rid of all this. We'll kind of bring this across. And I think we need to do it once more. I think this part maybe, 
copy, delete, bring that across a little bit here, plus text, plonk that in there, and then we're just going to bring that across so it kind of covers the, the bottom. So now we've got the same kind of background image, but the text will kind of change. Now, of course, I can make this a little bit, you know, better. I could maybe have a little bit of a space there. Bring that across. Let's just click up out of that. Bring it across a little bit. There we go. So if we don't like this kind of background thing here, what I can do is click on this. Click on Replace, Stock Library. We only want to use free stuff. So I, first of all, I could type in the word Keto and see what comes in. Um, we've got videos, we've got images. So I might choose this one. So I'll hit Replace. And it's going to automatically replace it. And then I will just drag it up so it kind of covers this little box here. Now, that image itself goes outside, but within our file, we've got that here. So if I was to click away, let me just kind of come to a different slide and come back and come here. That's what it's going to look like. OK, the ketogenic diet is without doubt one of the most effective strategies. And then to promote metabolism, decrease hunger, improve weight reduction outcomes, boost energy and even improve mental concentration. And we can kind of, you know, drag that across a little bit and make it look nice. And we go through the same process with each individual slide. Now, because I have a lot less here, what I can potentially do is come back up and you can see it's actually changed to 120. It did change. And you go through and you do it for every individual slide. Now, when it comes to the actual um, voiceover or the audio, you've got some options here. So if we was to click on this little here, we can record a voice. So I'll click on this. I've got three things. I can record my voice within the wave.video landscape if I want to. I can use auto text-to-speech, which will mean it will be a robotic voice. I don't recommend that. All of these softwares don't do a very good job when it comes to that, and you'll sound like a robot. Or you can upload something. I highly recommend that you upload a real person speaking. Now, you can go over to fiverr.com, and you can pay somebody to read that script out. Or you can download something called Audacity, which works on a Mac or a PC. And then you can just read it yourself. You can um, export your file as an MP3 or a WAV file from Audacity to your computer. And then you can upload that here. And that is what I do pretty much all of the time. And even if somebody on Fiverr does it, you'd still want to you know, upload it here. Once you've uploaded it, it's then just a case of syncing the audio with the actual video. And again, I don't have an audio prepared for this, but that is an option for you. And I've got videos on YouTube. I'll leave a link below which talks all about how to do that. It's not difficult. Once you're ready, you'd hit publish. So we just come over. It's not obviously this isn't a real video yet. It's not ready, but we'd hit publish. We'd click on video. And then it would just kind of go through everything to make sure it's okay. And we want a 1080p, we want MP4. We'd click on render. So we click on render and it's just going to start rendering. When it's at 100%, we can download our video. And now we've got a square video that we can download and we can use for a Facebook ad. And we've taken inspiration from another video. We've rewritten the um, transcript using um, rev.com. And then we've um, kind of um, spun it a little bit using Quillbot. And now we've got a brand new video after using it with Wave. Nice and simple. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and go ahead and use a combination of the Facebook ads library, Rev.com, Quillbot, and Wave, and you can pump out videos for Facebook, for YouTube, for Instagram. Super, super simple without having to reinvent the wheel. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.